Perhaps you've seen some of the new ways to demonstrate magnetic fields. This is fun being able to write and then you can erase it just by letting it sag and then you're ready to write again using magnets. You may be more familiar with the iron filings approach. I've always loved this. You sprinkle iron filings onto a magnet and they line up with the magnetic field. What's happening is that each one of these little pieces of metal is becoming a magnet itself. It's called induced magnetism and as the magnets line themselves up they illustrate the magnetic field. This activity will ask you to map a magnetic field using a compass. Now a compass is a device that uh, basically is just a little magnet floating on a pin. Now a compass is just another magnet and it's suspended from a pin. One side is painted, and one side is left unpainted, so, uh, and it's printed with the points of the compass, north, south, east, and west, but they have no bearing on what direction the actual compass points in. It's just helpful when you're ready to put this on a map to line this up with north, south, east, and west. Now the compass points towards the north. Now here's two compasses. It's clear to see that they're both pointing in the same direction, but one of them, uh, the painted side is pointing north, and in this case, the silver side is pointing north. It's an important thing to determine ahead of time which end of your compass points towards the north pole. Compass points north because of the Earth's magnetic field. This particular compass, the red end of it, the painted end, is pointing north. This particular compass, the silver end, the unpainted end, is pointed north. Two compasses from the same factory, one of them the painted end pointing north, the other one the unpainted end pointing north. Now, as it turns out, if the Earth were a large magnet, so here's the Earth, here's the North Pole, here's the South Pole, here's where Santa Claus lives, and that helps you remember that if the Earth was a giant magnet, then what we locate at what we would call the North Pole is actually the south end of the magnet, leaving the north end of the magnet to be down in Antarctica, where the penguins are. No penguins up here. Polar bears up here. Slow-moving penguins down here. Fast-moving polar bears. They would eat all the penguins, but they're kept separated by the entire planet. So the penguins are safe. Polar bears going hungry. So what we have here is a compass that points towards the Earth's North Pole, but it's pointing towards the south side of a magnet. So now I know that the red on this compass points towards the south side of a magnet. Here we have a magnet, and the red part is pointing towards the south side of the magnet. So this must be the north side of my magnet. Now not to frighten you, but if you turn it over, it does have an S printed on it. Don't trust this. These magnets can be reversed. If they uh, dropped, they lose their magnetic ability. We have a little induction um, device that will remagnetize them and sometimes never magnetize quite right. So this, trust me, is pointing away from it. The magnetic field is always going to be mapped so it points towards the south. So the magnetic field mapped from this point would be away from this point. So here's how you use the compass for plotting a magnetic field. You start with a point, you put the compass so that one end is right on that point, then you put a mark at the other end of the compass, and then you move the compass so that this first end lines up exactly with that dot. And then what we're going to do is put a dot here at the end of the compass again. Right at the end of the compass. And in fact, the compass again is this metal part here. It's not the whole round thing. 
so the metal parts is ported from the pin. Then we're going to repeat this procedure, moving the compass. So now the arrow is lined up with the dot we just made. We're going to create another dot. And we do that again. Be very careful. And then we can continue this and see where it goes. In this case, it's going right off my paper. So here's a line of magnetic force. Now we have to put an arrow on it, and the arrow always goes away from north and towards south. So I'm going to put an arrow over here. We've drawn a line of magnetic force. Let's pick another one to do real quickly. I'm going to pick a one that starts right here. When you do this lab, you will pick ten different spots along the magnet and plot those lines. This particular lab is going to ask you to draw three maps, one of them of the field around a single bar magnet. Red indicates the south side of the magnet, so that would be this end of the magnet would be the south side. This would be the north side. And I'm going to end up doing ten lines, keeping in mind that if it leaves uh, the magnet at this point comes off the paper but then comes back on and hits at roughly the same point on the south side. Uh, this only counts as one line. However, make sure you put an arrow going off the page away from the north and an arrow coming on the page towards the south. So you're going to do ten lines around that. The second map is to draw the interaction of two magnets that are in an attractive mode. Put them about 10 centimeters apart, and that's got to be north because the red's going away from it. That's got to be south because the red's going towards it. And so now I'm going to do 10 fields between these two. And I'm going to plot out 10 field lines or 10 flux lines around these two magnets. And for the final field map, you're going to make it so they're both repelling. That's south, and that's south. Now what happens in the middle gets a, gets a little funny. So when you go to draw these field maps, I wouldn't draw the one that goes directly across the center. It's just very confusing. By the time you draw your map and it gets to the center, it's going to flip over and uh, it's going to be hard to, to figure out what's happening with the field lines. They're actually, what's going to happen is this line is going to start bending off and going down, and so you're going to have these repulsive lines looking like this, but if you just try to draw the one straight across, you might run into problems. The rule is these lines will never, ever cross. They can't possibly cross. So that's the lab, is to plot ten field lines around three different magnetic configurations. Good luck.